Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonald. It's the 1st of July today and you're watching GameSpot News. Here's some stuff about some things. First up, GTA Online is getting itself a special July 4th update and if you love America, then you'll love this gratuitously stereotypical America pack. The Independence Day update, which you can grab on PS3 and Xbox 360, includes a Made in the USA t-shirt, a mullet, and masks of what the update calls this great nation's most fearsome and majestic creatures. There are also some gaudy star-spangled vehicles, including the Sovereign Motorcycle and the Liberator Monster Truck, as well as guns like the Musket and Firework Rocket. When you're done with all your gun toting and red, white, and blue vehicle riding, you can also head down to Pleasure Pier to ride the Ferris whale and the leviathan roller coaster. The content is available for a limited time only, so grab it soon if you want to get your murica on. Next up, more companies are saying yay competition in regard to the console war. Today it was Sony Worldwide Studios president Shuhei Yoshida. Yoshida told Eurogamer that the console war isn't all that bad because, in his words, competition really pushes everyone, Microsoft and us, to do better. I think in the end the consumers will win. Yoshida went on to say that he expected Microsoft to release a cheaper Xbox One, but not quite so quickly. And he praised the positive effects of Microsoft's management change. Speaking of that management, Yoshida commented on Microsoft's E3 showing and the new head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, saying, The attitude was great, like from Phil Spencer. I read and listened to his interviews and he's a reasonably smart guy, compared to some other people who used to say some unbelievable things. Some people potentially being this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, Bioware is all set to include their first ever completely gay character set to appear in Dragon Age Inquisition, and that's exceptionally cool. Said character's name is Dorian, and he's a mage who's refused to align himself with the perfect and pure attitude that the people have where he's from. Lead series writer David Gator has said Dorian's refusal to play along with that facade is seen as stubborn and pointless by his family, which has contributed to his status as a pariah. The character will not be romantic by women, which is why Gator confirmed that Dorian is set to be completely gay and not gay in the sense of many other Bioware characters who are technically bisexual. Dorian is going to have pretty sweet elemental spells along with those involving the control of spirits and the dead, so even if he isn't your male character's cup of tea, he may well be worth having in your party platonically. Be sure to let me know down in that comment box if you're keen for Dragon Age Inquisition and what you think of Dorian's characterization. Those are all the things I have to tell you about today, but join me again same time tomorrow for more things, and until then, enjoy the rest of your day with your things. I'll see you soon.